Gamers, welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to talk about the month, day, year, and weekday uh, functions within Excel's Visual Basic. Um, if you have used them in, in uh, regular Excel worksheets, well, they work just the same. Um, so what you're going to do, let's see here. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you how they work in a regular old Excel worksheet and then we'll show you how they work in VBA very similar this should be a very lickety split video so equals month of that date right there and so it shows that it's the first month if this were uh, February let's say 14 February 14 2013 the month would be 2 so we'll equals day and it'll show the day of the month equals year you can extract the year, which in this case would be 2013, and equals weekday. Click there, and weekday is 5. So that tells me that this is a, so if Sunday was 1, and then Monday is 2, Tuesday 3, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, th so this would be a Thursday. And uh, there's ways you can extract that detail. You could say equals... Um, well, you could even say equals text of that and then format as uh, day 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 and that would show that it was a Thursday or all four D's and it would show the full day so there's lots of ways to find out information like that but let's say I change that to some random day like 4 30 2018 like that it shows that it's the fourth month 30th day year 2018 and the weekday is uh, 2, which means it's a Monday, and sure enough, it's a Monday. So we're going to mess around with that a little bit, very briefly in Visual Basic. So hit Alt F11, and pardon my system for being extremely slow. Alright, so we're going to, uh, I've already got a new macro called Day Test. So we're ready to start uh, calculating. So we're going to get our day, um, we'll call this Day 1 again and that's going to be coming from cell B4 and then we can start playing around with the variable called date1 so if we wanted to get the month of our date that's how you do it so you could say answer equals month of date1 so let's hit F8 there's our date there and then the answer is the month of that date so answer is four and um, again you could do that with the other things so let's go ahead and show you the, uh, excuse me the day same thing pull it up here very simple stuff here the 30th day okay and year and uh, you don't have to do application dot worksheet function dot uh, whatever these three are built in so answer equals year of that and it's 2018 so you can see that there's a lot of uh, value in extracting different values or different facets of a date or a time in a variable because you can play around with those numbers and punch it back into a date so uh, actually let's let's show you a couple applications I feel bad uh, not doing that so how about m1 equals uh, month of date one uh, d1 equals uh, uh, the day just like we did a moment ago and uh, y1 equals the year of course of date one and so what we could do with that is if we're using something like date value I don't know if we've gotten to that one yet or uh, let's see here maybe it wasn't date value that converts the date as a string so if you had a date it would convert it to a, an actual date date serial I believe is what I'm thinking of so date serial you can take any, uh, whatever year you plug in 
whatever month you plug in or whatever day and that will become your your date that you're working with so let's say test date equals date serial and uh, let's see which year do we want let's say we wanted whatever year was in our particular macro y1 comma and then we wanted the month one plus uh, you know plus three for whatever reason and you know we wanted to add that month and then let's see that whatever day maybe we want a d1 plus 19 days I don't know why why not let's see what happens so our test date would be uh, 2018 is the year the month would be 4 plus 3 so it would be 7 and then the day would be 30 plus 19 so let's just see what happens it may get all jumbled let's see 8 18 2018 Aha, uh -huh. so it wasn't the seventh month because it took thirty the thirtieth of the month plus nineteen days and three months. So that's very interesting. So there's a lot you can do with uh using date serial and then utilizing the month or the day or the year. And I believe we said weekday we we're gonna test out. So again, weekday of whatever day. So date one. So what would weekday of date one be? It would be two, which uh, we know is a Monday. And then you know if you wanted to do something based off that, if if the weekday is a is a two or three or whatever, then oops, then you do something. So you could trap, let's say, a weekend. A weekend, if you know, if weekday one, if weekday is uh, seven, or weekday one equals one, so if it was a Saturday or a Sunday, then X, Y, and Z might happen. So um, I don't know. That message box uh, weekend. else message box really okay otherwise week day so there's a million and one applications for these type of things uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that let's see what the weekday was it was two so if it was a seven or a one which is not and it'll say weekday instead of weekend, which is only for sevens and ones. So anyway, thanks for watching, and God bless.